in this lecture i will teach you how we can call a api by a very simple process so our agenda will be we will be calling an api and using that we calling that api we want to fetch the status code of that api the first thing is that we need to have a api so for that i have chosen an api this is the api name this is the uri and this is the request so we will be calling this api so let me first show you manually how we can call this one and if we append it okay so this is the thing so practically we will be calling this one and we will fetch the status code of this api using rest assured so we will copy this one and we will write here a variable which is a string and we will name it as api call and inside that it will be a string so we will be giving it in a quotes semicolon and done now we will have to call request specification if once we write req we will have a request specification we will create an object of that request specification and we will be calling rest assured here dot which is given so we will call given then we will use dot content type the content type was json so we will be writing application application slash json now uh, we will be having a response we have to capture the response for that we will be using a response variable response dot now we will be using this request specification this one so this will be request specification dot and what will be the function call is it will be a get call so we will be giving a get and inside that get we have to pass this api api call variable okay once we do that we will be getting a status code so the our status code will be inside the response so we will capture the status code in this way response dot get see we will be having this function called get status code so this is our status code and we will be putting it in some variable say status code okay now we want to print it let's first print the status code to check whether our status code is coming correctly or not say system dot print system dot out dot println sorry system dot out dot println and we will be giving a custom message say the status code is status code okay let us run this one and uh, we will check it let us run this one first let us see what the status code comes uh, ideally it should come 200 because it is giving a okay response so it is a 200 status code yes the status code is 200 so our api call is running fine and our code is also running fine so this is a basic example of calling an api using rest assured and fetching the status code in the next lecture we will be digging more into it and we will be enhancing our this current code into a more complex structure till then bye bye